approximately 43 and a half miles, 70 kilometers, south of Manila, capital of the Philippines, hidden in the middle of a volcanic lake of crystal clear waters, lies one of the most treacherous and dangerous volcanoes on the planet. Mount Tall, with its 1,021 feet, 311 meters, in height, may seem small compared to the volcanic giants of the world, but its deceptive appearance conceals a destructive force that has already claimed thousands of lives throughout history. On this Sunday, October 26, 2025, this sleeping colossus once again showed signs of its terrifying presence, launching columns of smoke and ash that reached an impressive 6,890 feet, 2.1 kilometers, in altitude. The region where Tal rises has a fascinating geological history dating back millions of years. This unique volcano in the world is situated within the caldera of an ancestral supervolcano, forming what scientists call a volcano within a volcano. Lake Tal, which surrounds the volcanic island, was formed approximately 100,000 years ago during a catastrophic eruption that created the impressive caldera of 15 and a half miles, 25 kilometers in diameter. The lake waters, which today appear serene and inviting, hide a violent past marked by explosive eruptions that completely shaped the geography of the Batangas region. Taal's strategic location in the so-called Pacific Ring of Fire makes this region one of the most seismically active on the planet. The constantly moving tectonic plates create an environment of perpetual instability, where the Earth's crust is constantly pressured and fractured. This complex geological dynamic feeds not only Mount Hall, but also the frequent earthquakes that shake the Philippines region. The rocky substrate beneath the volcano is composed of layers of volcanic material accumulated over hundreds of thousands of years, creating a system of interconnected magma chambers that make each eruption unpredictable. The Philippine Institute of Volcanology and Seismology constantly monitors this natural threat. Using a sophisticated network of seismic sensors, thermal cameras, and monitoring stations that operate 24 hours a day. The volcano's proximity to densely populated areas, including the megalopolis of Manila with its 13 million inhabitants, makes Tal an absolute priority in terms of volcanological surveillance. Data collected today shows that despite the recorded activity, eruptions are classified as low intensity, but experts remain on maximum alert due to this volcano's unpredictably violent history. The volcanic activity recorded this Sunday represents another chapter in Tal's long and tumultuous history. A volcano that has already demonstrated multiple times its capacity to transform idyllic landscapes into apocalyptic scenes within hours. The columns of smoke and ash that rise majestically above the lake serve as a somber reminder that Earth's primordial forces continue shaping our planet, regardless of human presence. For communities living in the shadow of this sleeping giant, every tremor, every sign of volcanic activity represents both the fascination and terror that only nature in its rawest form can inspire. The year 1911 marks one of the darkest dates in Philippine history, when Mount Tal demonstrated its devastating fury in an unforgettable way. On January 30th of that year, an explosive eruption of catastrophic magnitude swept the region like a tsunami of fire and ash resulting in 1,335 lives lost within a matter of hours. The eruption was so violent that entire cities were buried under yards of volcanic material, and the sound of the explosion was heard hundreds of miles away, terrorizing populations who never imagined such destruction could emerge from an apparently small and harmless volcano. The tragedy of 1911 was not an isolated event in Tal's turbulent history. Since historical records began being kept in 1572, this treacherous volcano has erupted at least 35 times, each event leaving its indelible mark on the landscape and collective memory of the Filipino people. The eruption of 1965 claimed 200 lives, while other minor events throughout the centuries continued to remind local communities that they live above one of Southeast Asia's most active and unpredictable volcanic systems. What makes Tal particularly dangerous is its tendency to produce freedomagmatic eruptions, a phenomenon that occurs when incandescent magma comes into direct contact with the lake water surrounding the volcano. This explosive interaction between opposing elements, fire and water, creates extraordinarily violent chemical and physical reactions, generating columns of superheated steam, ash, and rocks that can be launched to stratospheric heights within minutes. The result is an exponentially more powerful eruption than would be produced by magma alone transforming Taal into a true geological time bomb. 
Modern scientific analyses reveal that Taal's unique geological structure contributes significantly to its unpredictably explosive nature. The volcano possesses multiple craters and openings, some of which remain hidden beneath the lake waters, creating a complex system for escaping accumulated magmatic pressure. This peculiar configuration means that an eruption can begin apparently minor in one opening and quickly spread to other areas exponentially amplifying destruction in a pattern that defies even the most sophisticated prediction models currently available. The memory of past tragedies remains alive in communities surrounding Lake Tal, where stories of terror and survival are transmitted from generation to generation as perpetual reminders of nature's relentless force. Elders who survived the most recent eruptions recount in vivid detail how the sky transformed into a hell of incandescent ash how the air became unbreathable, and how entire families disappeared under avalanches of volcanic material. These personal testimonies, combined with scientific records, form a terrifying mosaic that perfectly illustrates why Taal is considered one of the world's most dangerous volcanoes. Taal's most recent and significant eruption occurred in January 2020, an event that served as a frightening rehearsal of what this volcano is capable of producing when it awakens from its apparently peaceful sleep. During that eruption, Columns of ash and steam rose up to nine and three quarter miles, 15 kilometers in height, forcing the evacuation of more than 100,000 people and completely paralyzing air traffic at Ninoy Aquino International Airport, the Philippines' main aviation hub. Volcanic ash covered Manila like an apocalyptic shroud, transforming day into night and reminding the 13 million inhabitants of the capital that they live constantly at the mercy of geological forces operating beneath their feet. During that dramatic eruption, the entire world could witness through social media a phenomenon rarely captured on video, volcanic lightning. These spectacular and terrifying electrical discharges emerged from the ash columns like cosmic light serpents, creating a visual spectacle that was simultaneously beautiful and alarmingly dangerous. The phenomenon occurs when volcanic ash particles collide with each other at high speeds within the eruptive plume generating static electrical charges sufficient to produce lightning that can be seen hundreds of miles away. The governmental response to the 2020 eruption demonstrated both the preparation and challenges faced by Philippine authorities when dealing with large-scale volcanic disasters. Please don't forget to leave your like if this content expanded your knowledge about volcanology, and tell us in the comments which volcano you would like us to cover in future episodes of this series dedicated to Earth's most impressive geological phenomena.